Hey YouTube, uh, here I'm gonna actually I'm gonna talk about the steering wheel adapters that I've been making. Uh, here I have a G27 a steering wheel adapter, and uh, this is for G29, G920 variant. And uh, actually, what I'm uh, what I did was actually did some strength test on it just to check how strong it is. So. Uh, Although I don't have the numbers and how strong it was when I was like hitting it with a hammer. But as you can see, I've uh, actually tried different uh, infill patterns. And this one is a rectilinear that I've been testing. Uh, most of the prints that I'm using is using the honeycomb pattern because we know that honeycombs are quite strong. And uh, yeah, I just tested it today because I wanted to change the infill uh, Percentage. I've increased it uh, compared to what I have with uh, these uh, older models here. They're actually they're broken in half. These are like 30% infill. This one is 40%. But if you can see, with a minimal amount of force, you can actually uh, compress it or, or damage it by by compression uh, with a hammer. If you can see, it easily got compressed. Uh, on the edges where I was hitting it right there but for the uh, uh, honeycomb pattern if you can see it actually broke broke in half but I used like twice the strength to, to hit on, on this one before it broke if you can see these uh, scuff marks are uh, from my previous like blows on it it didn't even do anything it didn't even budge it actually I felt like it was bouncing while hitting on it and uh, used a, uh, a lot of strength to break it in half this one actually broke but it didn't continue to the other side but this one broke in half like that no compression if you can see here it's the holes are just it's still there it actually held it pretty good and uh, yeah these are similar infill patterns that I created with this one so yeah if you have any suggestions and how would I uh, I would test the uh, the strength of these things because I have uh, uh, some some of it actually cracking but I, I'm not sure how it was actually broken uh, this way like it cracked this way if you're yeah if you're gonna be driving I'm not sure how it could break this way if these are actually held and uh, the force when you try to to pull the uh, steering wheel is actually going like it's a rotational kind of force it doesn't really pull it until it breaks this way probably if you're hitting it with a hammer or bending it in some ways probably that might cause that kind of stress on the material but uh, yeah that's why I changed the um, infill patterns to see which one is actually the strongest um, so yeah if you have any suggestions on how I would do the strength test of anyone who wants to test these things uh, and how much force you get to break them I uh, would be glad to send them a, a sample of it so they can test it um, yeah uh, that's it thanks for watching